question form and go behind the Iron Burton USA. The final, and I know there are hundreds of moments, but the final moment that was one of my favorite, and I think this was from 2008 also, when they talked about the war in Iraq and he said, you know what, we just marched in and we can just march out. in history, we have had the advancement of these failed policy, the project for a new American century. That is the... You already know there are a bunch of neocons running that show. They actually opened up an office in 19, uh, 1997. They closed their office in 2006. That doesn't mean they're gone, and that doesn't mean they're not influencing most of the politicians in Washington, but believe me, they're losing steam. Right now, the wars that have been fought in these 10 last years, it's given us $4 trillion worth of debt, are unpopular, we can't afford them, the American people want us out, and they want to bring the troops home. If they don't listen to your shouts, and if they don't listen to common sense, they're going to listen to the facts of life. And the facts of life is, we can't afford it anymore. The Soviets didn't leave because they had an enlightenment. They left because they were broke. And they so foolishly got bogged down in Afghanistan. So why don't we wise up and just take care of ourselves and defend our country and not be the policemen of the world? And we're, pr and we're pretty good, but we're getting, uh, you know, uh, we're getting sloppy on it to protect your intellectual freedom. Now that they want to regulate the internet and uh, arrest people for saying things, this is where we're going to have to be very careful because when the state feels like they're under attack, probably the first freedom they get rid of is freedom of speech. Ideas, spreading ideas. That is why our ideological revolution has to pursue, and it has to pursue quickly before they take away our ability to communicate. But it's the ideas that changes the world, so that is why the First Amendment is so crucially important. In the other area that we have created a lot of problems for ourselves, and but we're in the midst of a transition, and that is in, on foreign affairs. We're spread too far around the world. We're in 140 countries. We have 900 bases. They're preparing right now to go into Syria, and it probably won't be too long that we may well be in Iran. We don't need another war. We need less wars, and we need to quit.
Perhaps one of the most famous leaders of all the world lived in a time of occupation and he urged all his followers and people that believed in what he had to say is not use violence and force as a means to change people's minds. The change has to come from within. That man was Jesus Christ. Question 4. Go behind the Iron Curtain USA.